The Indiana Fever struggled hard in game one against the Connecticut Sun. Do they bounce back or continue their struggle here in game two? I'm Ronald Kabang from wagertalk.com and themoneyballer.com. I'm currently the number one handicapper this month over at Wager Talk, 58, 26, and 1, a 69% hit rate. And my all access clients are actually up nearly 56 units this month. I have a 5% play for NFL Week 4 up and available already. 5% plays are a rarity for me. I only have 10 so far this year, and I'm 9-1 and one on them. Uh, so if you're interested in, in that, uh, I have it up on my Wager Talk page, wt.buzz backslash rc. I also have a free play available on the page as well right now, so just go ahead and check that out, even if you don't buy the uh, 5% play. Uh, also right now, there is a deal at Wager Talk where you can purchase a 90-day all-access package for $849 and you get 30 days for free, which is a $299 value. So that's 120 days for $849, which breaks down to less than $49 per week and just over $7 per day for your favorite handicapper over at Wager Talk. Uh, now let's dive into this matchup between the Fever and the Sun here. Uh, let's start with the Fever's offense. Uh, they really struggled in game one. They only managed to put up 69 points which tied for their third lowest output this season. Uh, but that's not surprising because the Fever's offense just doesn't travel well. They actually average five fewer points per game on the road compared to when they play at home. Uh, and when you look at them playing on the road against teams over 600, the Fever are averaging just 75.1 points per game in a nine-game sample size. And now here, you know, there's another thing to look at from the Fever side. They, they really struggle with turnovers. The Fever have been turnover prone all season long, and the Sun are one of the best teams in the w at forcing turnovers and in game one the fever turned the ball over 13 times uh to me i don't see that obviously um uh, suddenly getting fixed uh in this elimination game here with you know the the sun wanting to to get the win here with the aces getting the sweep the liberty getting the sweep they're going to need that rest as well so they're going to want this game as much as the fever do and it's not just the turnovers the sun they also defend the three ball extremely well, and we know the Fever are very reliant on that three ball. And those were a couple of the biggest reasons why I took the, the Sun in game one. And um, in this specific matchup against the Sun, I think the Fever, they just haven't been able to get much offensive output from them throughout the season, failing to score more than 72 points in any of the three games that was played in Connecticut uh, this season between the two teams. Uh, for me, I feel like this is just a bad matchup for the Fever Connecticut's defense is legit and they know how to shut this team down and playoffs are all about defense and we've already seen how the Fever struggle to score against this unit and as much as the Fever have shown some improvement on the offensive side of the ball towards the latter part of the season I don't see them breaking out offensively here and another trend to mention when the Sun are at home as favorites their opponents 12-5-1 to their team total under averaging just 69.2 points per game and with only two of those teams going over the current 78 and a half team total set for the Fever. So for me, I would look towards the Fever team total under 78 and a half. Um, I do have another client play on this game for today that's available over at my capper page that I mentioned earlier, wt.buzz backslash rc. You can actually see it scrolling down on the bottom uh, banner there. Uh, with that said, do you agree with this take on this game or do you see this game playing out any differently? Uh, drop your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit that notification button as well so you never miss another show or a breakdown uh, from Wager Talk Handicappers, from myself or any other folks. Uh, once again, head over to wt.buzz backslash rc for free and premium picks and packages. Uh, my, my free plays in the last 30 days are actually 10, 3, and 1, so still giving out solid picks uh, over there on the page for free uh, head over to themoneyballer.com they have all the bad uh, all the uh, best stats trends and insights you need to make informed betting decisions and uh with that said whether you fade or follow it is on you to make that call good luck with all your actions till next time peace